Hi, this is Wanda from Lil Rose Artwork, and today we're gonna do another resin sculpture. Why another resin sculpture? Because practice makes perfect. Which brings me to a conversation I had with some young, young ladies that I uh, talked to at uh, Cell Phone Repair in Davison. No plugs, uh, I have no sponsors. You can tell I'm, I have like 30 subscribers, so no big deal. But that is where I met them as they were helping me with my phones and computers because I'm terrible at it. But anyway, I was talking to Alex and Rebecca and Alex had just started working in resin and she had mentioned that I must be so patient to do what I do. If you know any of my friends, they will tell you that I am like the least patient person in the world. But they will also tell you that I'm very persistent. So I don't give up, I keep trying, I think about things, I redo things, I experiment with things, and I just keep plugging away. So I wanna encourage you that with your artwork, don't give up, don't say I can't do it, just keep trying, you can do it. And we can do it together. But today, we're doing this. We're doing this resin sculpture. So let's head on down to the basement and get to it. Hi, this is Wanda from Low Rose Artworks and we are going to work on another fish sculpture. This time it's going to be a trout. So if you cannot draw, get your image from the internet, trace it over, you darken it up, get uh, either some nice plastic that's going to accept your hot glue and your resin. It's got to accept it and release it. Or I like to use just a silicone mat and you can see that image right through the mat. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're just going to trace around your image, creating a well in order to put your resin. My resin has been mixed, my colors have been chosen, my mica pigments, and I'm just pouring it into the molds that we created with the hot glue. I am mixing wet resin on top of wet resin, doing my shading, doing my blending. Right. It's been overnight and our fish have set up. So I am going to take those off of the board or off of the silicone mat. I see we have a little bit of overspill right here. These are still pretty flexible. So we're going to trim the overspill. And it's, it's easy to do because it is still soft. along the glue edge. I'm gonna make some waves with the baggy technique. I have my wood piece all set. I have my fish that I'm going to attach here and attach here. And then I'm going to put some splashes up behind my fish. Splashes up around here. All right, so I'm gonna set my fish in this type of a position. And it will be attached here, here. It'll start out with hot glue and then it will be resined in. But this will be my touch point. And I'll be able to move his tail and give him a little bit of motion by 
by attaching back here and tipping the tail back and keeping that fairly straight. So I'm gonna do that right now. I have my super glue, I have my Instaset, which is an accelerator for CVA glue. I have my tail that's gonna come around here. Give it a little bit of movement, a little bit of curve. Again, not our final adhesion points. I am gonna tip our fish back, so I'm going to end up using a little bit of tape or something to, to have them curve. I like it. Yeah, I want him to tip a little bit. So I want my fish to kind of tip like this. So I'll use some tape and pull it back because these are not set yet. So I'm going to take my fish, pull him back a little bit, giving him a little bit of a curve. And then once he's fully set and cured, you'll have an interesting shape. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of the splash. So let me turn that so you can see. It's hard to work backwards. But I'm gonna start putting in some, some splashes. Covering up my support here, which is the stick that was standing up. So this guy's just about done. Uh, what I did do with this was I had some resin and I reinforced all my places that I had used super glue to attach because you always have to reinforce. Super glue is not enough. I also painted the back side of my fish with resin to make it shiny as it was matte. So what I have decided because there is an unnatural cut here. Looks like somebody took a saw to it, or whatever. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, some greenery here, and I'm also gonna put some around the base. I'm using E6000 adhesive glue to hold my, eh, my greenery onto my base. I've decided to make cattails for this piece, so I'm making my glue molds for my resin, pouring my resin in. And I'll be using uh, wire and beads for the stalks of the cattails. Those are the leaves there, and I'm taking them apart. Using some super glue to adhere my wire to my beads that I'm using for my cattails. And here I am fixing my cattails to my base. 